all your little monsters in here. Yeah. Do you know what oh I call my, my fans? What do you, what do you little call? bastards. <laughs> I open my window and I go, where are those little bastards? <laughs> That's different. Would you like a drink? I would like a drink. Oh, what um, would you like? I've got Pink Lady, I've got... <laughs> they know what you like. They do. And do you know how I take it? Straight. Neat. Straight up. I was going to say, you don't do anything straight, surely. <laughs> the only thing I do straight is my whiskey. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shall I have one as well? Are you just trying to get me drunk so you can say bastards again? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get me to say it. You just said it. I did. <laughs> Every time. Never fails. Thank you. Is that enough now? That's perfect, yes. Oh, good, good. What are you like when you're drunk? Are you like, do you get emotional? Do you get like well, horny? Last night, I, I, I got very drunk last night and I. I was by, yeah, they call me Drunky Gaga. <laughs> mm. And it was quite that. embarrassing, but there was nobody there to watch and laugh. That's always the but best I, way, uh, isn't I put it? on a, a gown by myself in my hotel room and had a bunch of wine and danced to Born This Way by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Such is the life of a pop singer. <laughs> Why didn't you phone me? I could have come round and got pissed and danced with you. Next yeah, I'll bring my own dress and everything. Then we'll be two bastards in a hotel <laughs> room. Bastards, yeah. <laughs> I saw you on X Factor last week. <laughs> I was going to wear that dress tonight. <laughs> the shape of head. Shame you didn't. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy the show? I had a great time. I, um, everyone there was so nice and... Uh, mm. Uh, they really let me put on a, the show that I wanted to do. I'd been planning it for a long time, uh, it, so it turned out wonderfully. You know, the song Marry the Night is about uh, marrying your obstacles and marrying the challenges that you face in order to uh, become great or achieve your dreams. So I just thought it would be sort of a funny metaphor to achieve my dreams and sing on X Factor with my head cut off. <laughs> this didn't work yet. Yeah. The show but, must go on. And, and also, what about Kitty? I know. I know. You ran on stage, she was crying, you were crying, I was crying. <laughs> you were? I was crying. Oh. I know. I felt really bad, you know, cos I know how rejection... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I felt terrible, you know, I know how rejection feels in the business. I got signed, I got dropped, I got signed again. That's actually what the Mary of the Night video is about. It's about one of the most horrible days of my life when I got uh, dropped from my first record label. Oh, uh, God. And it's the story of, of what happened that day. I bet they are gutted now. <laughs> they must be gutted. I think they're OK. <laughs> do you ever walk past the office and go, ha, ha? <laughs> I would do that I morning, noon and I night. I bet you would do that. <laughs> no. You bastards! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kitty's desperate to duet with you. Will you duet with Kitty? I don't know. I don't really... <laughs> I haven't really duetted with, with anyone, and no. my next duet, I believe, will be uh, with Elton, so... Um... Oh, wow! So, I'm already working on my next album. And, Already? Uh, yeah, and I played him uh, a song that I wrote and he really loved it, so, um, Ooh. yeah. Can you give us any hints to what song? No, I don't want to tell you, but, um, uh, I don't want to give anything away. Because, you know, truthfully, I'm really not done with... Come on, <laughs> one more. <laughs> now, we're, we're used to seeing you all dressed up in all your, um, paraphernalia and everything, but then... Paraphernalia? Pa that's a fabulous word. That's a good word. Mm. Fact. <laughs> then, your book, which you... I know, I know, it's fabulous. It's it's behind the scenes. It's warts and all. There's you in the morning, getting out of bed. There's you in the bath. Yes. You haven't held back, have you? No. And actually, this is the first edition of the book, and um, uh, there's even more photos coming out eventually. And I love the pictures of you doing normal things. Like, you go and got some milk, 
you're in your knickers, but you're getting milk. <laughs> 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 yeah. Me. Thank you. Do you know what the funniest picture in the book is when you're in that egg and you're texting. You're texting in that egg. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Thank you, yes. They're correcting you. The fans are correcting you. It wasn't an egg, it was a vessel. It was an interpretation of an egg or ovary or womb. Okay, I know what a womb a is. I know it's been a long time since I've been with a woman, but I do know ovary and womb. Hussein Chilean, uh, who designed it, he yeah. gets very upset when it's called an egg. He called me personally before the grant. I'm as if I didn't have too much to do. He called me personally to remind me to let everybody know that it was not an egg, it was a vessel. So, so what are you texting are there? You're saying, I'm breaking up, I'm going into a vessel. Lol. Well, this <laughs> PMSL. I was texting and I was looking at the tweets. It was quite fun for me. You know, I was inside and my oxygen on and I walked down the red carpet and I saw all the fans going, you know, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> was exciting. I'm not being funny, but how did you go to the toilet? Well, I, I mean, I went to the bathroom and things like oh, that. Oh, no, I but... mean, I'm not being nosy, but I just didn't know no, you had, like, it, a, a it, tenor lady it was, it was realistic. <laughs> it was realistic, but it was a performance Yeah, piece. and also you don't want people seeing you do in a, in a vessel, do you? Well, actually, well, I, I, do, I do quite often pee in the dressing room, in the trash can. <laughs> interesting photo for you today because I had that big pink bow I know for the yeah. performance so I was sort of I was sort of over the trash bin with the big pink bow you could be in our trash bin <laughs> in our trash bin <laughs> in the chatty man trash bin yes I did <laughs> that is charming <laughs> now I want to know about this house of gaga is it like an actual place you can go to? <laughs> no, I mean, does it have a receptionist? Is it like <laughs> House of Gaga? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have my telephone hat on, so I can't. I can't make a call right now. Oh, or my telephone bag. I have a bag. <laughs> you have a telephone bag. It's a so amazing. It's, you can actually plug your cell phone into the handbag and pick it up. <laughs> is this a House of Gaga merchandise? Is, is this actually invented by House of Gaga? No, it's sort of a mixture of some new technology and an old handbag that I that I purchased, and so obviously it takes a lot to make me really excited. I'm like a poly, I'm like a little girl getting a poly pocket. I get the bag and I'm like, oh, myself. No, like you nearly cringed your drawers then when you were going. <laughs> like, I did. Bag <laughs> I did, actually. <laughs> I just can't see. <laughs> oh, that whiskey's warming me right up. Are you good, isn't it? It's so good. But the House of Gaga, um, to explain really what it is all about is me and my friends travel the world together as I'm doing promotion, as I'm making the record, as I'm making my music videos. And what we do is we all lay around in bed and they smoke cigarettes and blow them in my face yeah. and we drink and we just write down every single idea we have and we sketch and we make crafts and we sew and pin things to me and it's quite honestly the greatest dream of my life and we get to make art for the whole universe. Well, I reenacted the uh, telephone video for a magazine oh, called did. Heat. <laughs> now. It took for it took forever. I'm sure it did because the video took days. This is you in a telephone. <laughs> it took me four hours to copy that. This is me. This is me. Look. <laughs> is absolutely terrifyingly close. <laughs> I mean, do you know how bad it is for a boy to have, like, a crime scene around his genitals? <laughs> I know a lot of boys that walk around with quite a crime scene around their genitals. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. You I... look... He looks amazing. Oh, thank you. You're right.